boys and girls. In math today, we are going to be talking about subtraction and subtracting ones and tens without using models. So we are gonna start off using our models, so using our 10 rods and our ones units and using our tens and ones subtraction chart. Then we're going to, after practicing that and reviewing that a little bit, then we're gonna try it without it, okay? But I wanna give you a few reminders about subtraction. So with subtraction, with a subtraction fact, the numbers, we start off with the whole, right? How many there are in all, okay? Then we take away a part of it. And then what we get is the other part, okay? So we start out with the whole, how many there are in all. We take away a part of it, and then what we get is the other part. So if we take this subtraction problem, 7 minus 4 equals 3. So we start out with the whole, how many there are in all, which is 7. We take away part of it, which is 4, and we are left with the other part, which is 3. Okay? Then, with addition, it's the opposite, right? So with addition, we actually start with a part. Then we add the other part. And then we figure out how many there are in all, and we get the whole, okay? So with addition, we would start with the parts. So we would start with three, which is a part, plus four, another part, and that will equal or give us how many there are in all, or the whole, which is seven, okay? So with addition, we can check our subtraction. We can do a subtraction problem and then we can check to see if we have the correct answer by using those same numbers with addition. Okay, so that was just a little review. We have gone over that, but that was just a little review, a little reminder. Good. All right, now let's review um, what we did yesterday. So let me get our tens and ones subtraction chart ready. Let's see, subtraction, put our line down the middle. We've got tens over here on the left side, ones on the right side, perfect. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's do 67, so six tens, seven ones, minus or take away 13. Okay, so 67, let me get these all set up. All right, so for 67, we need six 10 rods and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, excellent. Just wanna make sure I had all the right things. Okay, so what do we subtract first? What do we subtract first? The ones, right? The ones, that's where we start. That's what we subtract first, okay? So seven minus three, what is seven minus three? Well, I'm gonna take these seven ones and I'm gonna take away three of them, okay? Took away three, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, four. All right, so four goes here in the ones. Then we have our six tens, let's take away one. And now we have one, two, three, four, five. Good, so we could have done that with models like we did, or you could even do that subtraction in your head. So we have 54, right? Five tens, four ones, which equals 54. So 67 was our whole. We took away 13, which is part of it, and we got the other part, which is 54, okay? All right, good. Now I'm gonna read you a little story. And then with that story, we are going to um, create a math problem, a subtraction problem, and then we are going to solve it, okay? All right, here's the story. It says, I have 36 muffins. 12 of the muffins are blueberry. How many muffins are not blueberry? Okay, so we have 36 muffins, 
12 are blueberries, so how many are not blueberry is the question. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Let's find 36. Remember, we're going to start off using our models, then we're going to practice without them. Okay, so that gives us three tens, right? And six ones. Put the ones on this side since there's a little more room. So we have three tens and six ones, okay? Then it said 36 is the whole, right? That's how many muffins there are in all. Now we know that there are 12 blueberry, but we want to figure out how many are not blueberry. So that means we need to subtract 12. So that's part of it, right? That's part of the group of muffins, 12. Now we need to find the other part by using subtraction, okay? All right, so let's see. So how many muffins are not blueberry? Okay, let's start with the ones, right? We always start on the ones with subtraction. So we have six, take away two. So how many ones are left? Four, good. And then over here, we'll go over to tens now. We have three tens. We're going to take away one ten, which leaves us with how many? Two. Two tens. There we go. So how many muffins are not blueberry? Two tens and four ones, or 24. 24 are not blueberry. Very good. Okay, now I want to show you something. So I'm going to take away these models, but I'm also going to take away our little chart that helps us out. So I'm going to erase these lines, erase around here, erase up there, erase this line down the middle. Then I'm going to just redraw our equal sign. You can find the answer without the chart, just like this. You can find the answer right here without the chart. So it's the same thing, right? We still have our one side and our 10 side. We just don't have a line down the middle and it's not labeled, but we know where it is, right? So we can still do six minus two equals four. That's math that you can do in your head. And then if we go over 10, so we have three minus one equals two. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now, I want us to check this answer using addition. So we're going to check this answer, okay? So remember, this is our whole. This was part of it, and then this was the other part. Now with addition, we do part plus part equals whole. So we're actually gonna put 24 at the top. It's gonna be backwards or the opposite. So we have 24 plus 12 comes next equals, let's see, let's add it together. Remember, we start with ones, so four plus two equals six, and then two plus one equals three. Good, 36, did we get the same whole? Yes, we did. Okay, so we have checked, and we see that that answer is correct. All right, let's try one more, and we're not gonna use a chart or models at all. Not at all. All right. So, I have a story that goes along with this one, too. It says, a store has 55 birthday banners. 14 birthday banners are red. So, how many birthday banners are not red? Okay, so that's our question. Okay, so what is our whole? How many birthday banners are there in all? 55, right? 55 birthday banners. There we go. And 14 of them are red, and we want to figure out how many are not red. So that means that we need to subtract 14 from 55. Okay? Subtract 14 from 55. Okay, so we are just going to use what we have here. We're not going to use our chart, and we're not going to use our models. Okay, so which side do we start with? The ones, right? We start with the ones. So... 5 minus 4. What is 5 minus 4? You can use um, the subtraction facts that you know to figure this out. You can use your hands. You can use different objects. Um, but 5 minus 4 equals 1. Okay? Then we go on over to the tens over here. And 5 minus 1 equals 4. Good. 
4 is 1 less than 5. So 5 minus 1 equals 4. Excellent. Okay, so we're saying that there are 41 birthday banners that are not red. Well, now let's check it using addition. So we're going to put 41 right up here. Because remember, it goes in the opposite way for addition. So 41 plus 14. Okay, so we have a part, a part, and now let's see. Let's find the whole. 1 plus 4, because we start with the 1 side. 1 plus 4 equals 5. And then 4 plus 1 equals 5. So the whole is 55. Is that the whole in this one too? Yes, because we start with the whole in subtraction. And then in addition, we finish with the whole. So those are the same. So we checked the answer and we saw that it is correct. Very good. So this is what you will be working on on your um, worksheet for today. Okay, so you are going to be subtracting um, without using models and without using our charts. And then you are going to uh, use addition to check your answer. So once you find your answer here, you're going to add the two parts together to find the whole and see if it is correct. Okay, so that's what you will be working on today, boys and girls. You've been doing a really awesome job with this addition and subtraction of double digits. So keep that up, boys and girls. You're doing an awesome job. All right, go ahead and get started on this. You're going to do great.